Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Andrew from AndroidCentral.com and here it is, right? The Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, uh, the gaming phone from, uh, or the, the PlayStation phone, the PSP Go phone, whatever you guys want to call it. It's called the Xperia Play. It's here. Uh, it's been long rumored by the gaming community, the cell phone community. Um, everyone's been waiting on it, wondering when it was going to come out, and it's finally here for Verizon here in the United States. And uh, we're excited. I'm ex super excited because I'm a gamer. I've been a gamer all my life, and and I love Android. So I like to see the two come together. And uh, so hope uh, let's uh, let's see what we can take a look here. So we're gonna jump right into it here. Here's the uh, the home buttons here, right up front. There's the back home menu and search. But these three are oddly placed because um, they're a little bit different from other Android devices, right? So the back buttons here, it's just it's just odd and it threw me off kind of especially at night when using it the icons don't light up and uh, if you're not familiar with the the keys here and if you're used to some other Android devices you're gonna feel a little off but I mean like anything else you get used to it um, but I just wish they kind of alluded some uh, a little light or they kind of glowed or something um, also it's, it's a little close to the screen here so when you're hitting you might hit the launcher or anything on the bottom that might be responsive to touch um, but you know the the screen's huge. It takes full advantage of the uh, the front, so they kind of ran out of space there. But uh, nothing too bad, but manageable. On the bottom here, there's the um, little spot to put your nail in to kind of pop out the battery. I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, we'll come back to that micro USB uh, charging spot on the left hand side. On top, there's the dedicated power button which um, has a little indicator light, flashes crazy cool lights uh, when it's charging. And up on the right hand side is the the shoulder buttons, right? So this is what for one of the the experiences here on the Xperia Play for gaming. Um, it has a nice clicky feel, if you guys can hear it. Right? Um, I think they're, they're really nice. They're spaced out really good for gaming. I think it's actually works really well. Um, they kind of go down a little bit here could say and then the volume rocker which is oddly placed um, on top when you have the uh, the control pad slid out I'll show you that after when I open it but I, I thought that was odd um, because if you're trying to change the volume um, and the screens up you have to kind of like reach behind um, let me show you that in a second and then uh, and then there's on oh I'm sorry back to the by the micro here uh, there's a headphone jack um, down below so that covers about everything on the exterior. Um, on the front, we have a four-inch display with a um, uh, 854 by 480 FWGA resolution, VG, uh, FWVGA uh, resolution. I'm sorry, and um, it has in inside there's a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor accompanied by an Adreno 205 GPU. So I mean, granted, it's not the fastest processor. Yeah, especially now um, we're starting to see a lot of dual cores coming out this spring and the summer um, I thought that was kind of an odd choice that makes me wonder if Sony Ericsson wanted this phone actually all out a lot earlier right um, especially for a, a, a gaming phone right that's gonna be heavy on graphics and sound and processing and rendering you know they would want a better processor in there um, but it, it's it, it's really held up quite well in the games I've played so far but uh so let's hop let's hop in right into the uh, the home screen here. So this is a pure Android vanilla experience, right? This is this is gingerbread. A lot of you I know are probably super excited. You're you're tired of uh, these manufacturers putting their their skins or their UIs on here. So it's really nice that Ericsson did that and uh, um, bravo Ericsson, right? So if you guys don't believe me, I'm gonna hop into here, show you. Uh, there it is, Android version 2.3.2, .2, right? So that's gingerbread. Um, really nice to see that on there. Um, popping in out of menus works well. I mean, I feel like at 1 gigahertz already, these processors, especially with gingerbread on board, everything runs smooth, you know? Uh, no problem at all popping in and out of these. Um, let's hop into the, the app drawer here, right? So Verizon's known for putting all their bloatware on here. And I have to say, they did a, a good job, right? Uh, there's no city ID, surprisingly, right? No city ID, which is annoying. Um, 
There's the VCAS apps and Backup Assistant. Backup Assistant's nice for people who don't sync their contacts to Gmail, which I don't know why you wouldn't do that at this point if you have an Android phone, but it's there nonetheless. Uh, VZ Navigator, which uh, most people use Google Maps anyway, right? Um, so that, like I said, it moves in and out nice. It kind of has this nice feel to it, um, bouncing back and forth between screens. Um, so no complaint there. But let's talk about the screen a little bit, right? So the viewing angles, I think, are really good. I'm indoors right now, as you can tell. I think they're pretty good, right? But when you take this guy outside, terrible. Absolutely terrible. The colors get all washed. And I don't know if it has something to do with, um, I mean, even even indoor right now, the screen doesn't have like this sharpness, this crispness. It doesn't have that pop that some other phones have. And it's a bit disappointing because a lot of these games that are coming out that are optimized for Xperia Play are, uh, you know, higher resolution and higher textures and such like that. So you would, you would want a nice screen to take advantage of that. And I feel like uh, Ericsson was a little bit lazy on their display choice in here. That's a little frustrating. But... I mean, it works um, in low-level lighting. It obviously it looks much sharper, but outdoors, yeah, the, c the colors are very washed. I was very dis I'm so far, I'm pretty disappointed with them. But um, all right, so here it is, right? I, I wanted to save the gaming for last, right? This is what you guys have been waiting for. Um, so when you slide the keyboard open, I'm sorry, the key, the control pad, right? Boom! It pops open the Xperia Play experience. And that was, and I think that the, their vision behind that was like, you know, you want to do your gaming, you slide out the keyboard, pop. You know, that, that brings up the gaming experience, which is, is, is a nice choice. But it's odd because, you know, you slide out one of these phones, you're thinking it's like seeing a, a keyboard or something, but, you know, here's a control pad. Um, so I think I'm getting used to the idea of that, but it feels really nice. Now, if you're familiar with the PSP Go, which is the smaller version of the, uh, the PSP, um, they're they're one in one, right? The, the design is inspired by the PSP Go. Um, the only thing with the PSP Go, I think there's a start and select here. I'm sorry, there's a little nub here and a start and select here. Otherwise, the buttons are the same. The shoulders are the same. The shoulder buttons are the same. The screen, um, it's pretty much the same, right? Um, so it has that nice clicky feel. I don't know if you can hear it. Really solid. I'm really impressed with the controls. Um, you know your your familiar PlayStation branded uh, icons, the triangle, square, circle, and X, and um, the nubs. I'm sorry, not the nubs. The analog pads here, right? So they work really well. And like um, the hockey game I was playing, uh, moving the uh, the athlete around worked really well. Um, in the middle here, there's these little kind of nubs or a little little elevated kind of feels like braille I think that's there to just help guide you um, so you don't have to look down when you're playing to like find where you are on the pad here because that kind of it's very flush you can feel it um, that's just kind of help you keep you centered works really well um, I don't know why you can't navigate using these here I guess they're only optimized when you're using a game that um, takes advantage of them uh, a start and select button for games that take advantage of that and then right there is the uh, the familiar Android menu button which is also right up here right so um, games take advantage of that. Um, and then, interesting enough, as much as this is, you know, the rumored PlayStation phone or PSP phone, whatever you want to call it, it really isn't. It's just bringing uh, the PlayStation branded games to it. This is still very much a Sony Ericsson product. Sony Ericsson and Sony PlayStation are under Sony, but they're two very different uh, divisions of Sony, right? Um, so the only PlayStation really um, stuff on here is the buttons here and that little logo right there. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what PlayStation announces at E3 in terms of their, uh, their what they're bringing to Android with gaming, with PlayStation Suite. You know, that's going to be licensed PlayStation games for Android devices. Um, I think that's a really great idea on Sony's behalf, really expanding, especially since portable gaming is becoming so big. Uh, they're going to be kind of leading that movement. I think that's a great move on uh, PlayStation's behalf, and I think it's a good partnership with Ericsson to um, bring that experience to their phones. Uh, so enough of me blabbing. You guys want to see the games? Um, so included in the 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 Xperia Play is Asphalt 6, Bruce, Bruce Lee, Crash Bandicoot, which is a PlayStation One game, right? So that's one of those PlayStation branded games. 
Madden 11, Star Battalion, and Sims 3. Um, Hockey Nations, I downloaded. Cordy, I downloaded. That was recently updated to support Xperia Play. Controls and Age of, Zomb Age of Zombies by Half Brick, which I also downloaded. Um, so we can hit more games here. And this brings up games you can download that are Xperia Play optimized, right? So you can play any game on here. But um, games that are optimized for the controls and take advantage of the, the setup will be here in the uh, Xperia Play screen under more games. So now you can get them from two places. You can get them from Android Market and buy them right from the developer there. Or you can get them from the Vcast store. Here, we'll, we'll pick uh, Gun Bros. This game's available at Android Market. If we click on that, it brings us right into the Vcast app store. Um, which is fine, but it doesn't give you the option to, when I hit download, it doesn't give me the option to download it from the Android market. It's linked to your Verizon account, um, which would have been nice if it gave you, if you click that and you can choose to buy it from the Vcast or if it links you to the Android market. Um, I really wish it linked also to the Android market because um, it's, it's a nice display here to show um, which games are uh, optimized for um, the Xperia Play experience, right? But um, it's, it's a bit harder to find them in um, the Android market. So it's nice to see them here, but I wish they were listed in the Android market. I think if Sony and Google and uh, PlayStation, they want to take this experience seriously, they'll put a separate section in the Android market for gaming. Uh, I think that's a partnership they need to work on, right, to really to, to get this system, I'm sorry, this phone selling and get people interested in making that experience easier. Because, right, this is all about the gaming. Um, all right, so enough of me blabbing. I know you guys want to see the game, so I'm gonna go to uh, Crash Bandicoot here, which is a PlayStation One branded experience. Um, so let's jump right into it, right? No, I don't have a history. Um, there it is, the PS One logo, right? That's from the the mid '90s. Everyone's known that logo. It's it's been played everywhere, right? Um, let's turn up the volume here. Crash Bandicoot is a game developed by Naughty Dog. They work on Uncharted. It's another great PlayStation branded game. I'm trying to skip through this. It feels really nice. I just. I, it fits really perfect in hand. There you go, Naughty Dog Lodo. I start start this game up and sanity beach there's crash Break the box is super smooth now if you notice it's only doing a uh, 4x3 um, resolution it doesn't fit the full screen um, we can uh, go into the settings here. So remember that menu button I showed you here? You can hit that, and it brings up an overlay for the emulator. And uh, so there's two things I wanted to show you here. We can go to the manual, which is cool. It actually brings up the old PS1 manual. It actually shows the, uh, the cover art, which is pretty cool. I guess it's just a PDF inside there. But uh, I think that's really cool, especially for fans of the old PS1 who have a PS1, who grew up with PS1. Back out of there. Continue brush menu. Yes. Um, bring up that menu again. We can change the screen mode, right? So you don't want to play it in the original 4x3 uh, ratio. We can do full screen, right? And now it stretches it. It's a little stretched. It still looks good, though. Um, everything runs smooth. Let me just run through here. Put these baddies. Jump over. And there we go. And now what's cool is that if it's a. Uh, a PlayStation game, an actual PlayStation branded game, I can hit the home button here, jump out, say I gotta answer an email. Boom. Jumps me back to the screen, right? So up in the left hand corner, there's um, the PlayStation uh, controller logo. I pull down the notification bar, and it's an ongoing app, right? Crash Bandicoot Sony Computer Entertainment America. Tap that. Yes, and I wanna continue. And I'm back in the game, right? That's super awesome, super smooth. No delay. I was really impressed like that. That's good for those long games that you want to play, like an RPG. 
take a break, come back, do some work, do some email. You can hop right back into the experience without having to save it and load it again. Really smooth. And if I just want to cancel it, or quit, quit, boom, and I'm back. So there it is, folks. That's the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Look for our full review in the next coming days.